so I'm still seeing the number 33 everywhere I go and it started on Sunday but the interesting thing about this is that right before it all started I saw a 13 signs astrology video where he said I can't tell you why you're seeing the number 33 or 11 all the time and right after that is when I started seeing 33 all the time it's and hearing it too and it's ridiculous because I've, I've only been awake uh, like two hours and I've already heard it like six times like Alex I was watching Alex Jones video he's like we'll get to that story at you know 33 after the hour and I was there's so many examples I'm just naming off the ones I can remember I was reading like a magazine at work it's like 33 casualties and then here's a really here's one that doesn't make any sense at all I was out I was uh, driving away from Publix and grocery store and I saw a Hardee's and Hardee's has a sign that says like two for three croissants and for, for no reason at all after it says two for three croissants it says like 33 and the 33 on that sign has nothing to do with any like pricing or anything like that it's just like a random like 33 it's been happening for since Sunday which was 31st well no the 30th so the explanations that I've gotten for this is Rachel says it's the computer reading my mind some asshole saying that it's the number 33 is guiding me toward the TV show Survivor. Another guy is saying that seeing 33 all the time is an undeclared initiation to the 33rd degree. Well, he didn't say to the 33rd degree, but he said an undeclared initiation. Then I got uh, another one saying, hold on. Do, do, do. Oh, it's them, it's them like redirecting your life. In other words, like you were headed down one path and then you were going down. Now you're going down another. I don't like it. I think they're going to... Here's what I don't like about the Survivor thing. As soon as I get to the airport, I'm already drinking fluoridated water. And then when I get to the island and do all the shit... That I'm just starving and drinking fluoridated water, most likely. And this person, this Mason, is always pushing, telling me to get, um, t telling me to take like psychotropic drugs. It is obvious that they're trying to put an entity in me. So I'm being told that there's two winged beings following me around now. And, uh, This person's always telling me to take, you know, psychotropic drugs, and I have no idea why they can't. Give, they never give me an explanation, but they swear it's not to put an entity in me. <laughs> it's funny how this person's like, "Oh, I'm out to help you." Okay, so I'm like, well, tell me how to petition the IRS for the money they made off my straw man. Oh, I can't help you like that. But here, take, take, go to the doctor, take some psychotropic drugs, life will be better. Yeah, right. Stick to the hemp water. And hemp baked into granola is great. There's like these... Uh, cereal bars they sell the stove and they make becoming love even more uh, easier to do and 
there was one day where I ate nothing but spirulina and these granola bars where it was hemp uh, baked into granola and I just like evaporated out of my body while I was driving and it only lasted for like a split second because I you know had to focus on the road and I went to eat chicken like two minutes later so that kind of ruined it but that's my plan I've got a whole I, I know exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna well, by the way before I go any further once you drink like 10 gallons of like the alkaline water don't take anything like kava kava or creatine or anything like that because it, it, it will fuck you up it will make you feel like you got drunk and wasted because you're so clean that you're so clean that it really will mess you up and it, I've been messed up for like the past two days so I couldn't even get happy down there so uh, yeah don't don't eat any creatine or kava after you detox because this basically removes the tolerance that you have to drugs especially if you get a 9.5 alkalinity the first the first like six gallons I had was like a 9.5 alkalinity and I thought that was too much so I went back to a 8.5 remember every little change every like point one change is like a big change because I was getting like uh I'm just feeling like I, I was drinking so much uh, 9.5 to the point where I felt like I had no personality in a bad way. It was like a bad, just bad feeling. So yeah, I got a plan to leave my body, which is basically to now I can't meditate in this room. It just never works for me. So I will. Probably uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go and I I'm gonna I ordered a whole case of those uh, granola hemp protein bars and uh, basically I'm just gonna pig out and then I'm gonna meditate and then I'm gonna win I'm a winner I have a plan. I remember people cooked hemp is the shit. It's more psychoactive. Even if they say there's no THC, that's impossible. They're lying. And I know someone like Mike Killuminati is going to watch this video and be like, oh, granola lowers the sperm count and the testosterone. Yes, that is true. But here's the thing, Mr. Killuminati. Doubt you killed anyone. If you detox with the alkal, if you detox with the alkaline water, you have no tolerance to anything. So I'm gonna eat granola and hemp, which is gonna make me become love even faster than it did before. And then I'm gonna leave my body, and then like the next couple days, next two or three days, I'm gonna have something in the mail, a piece of jewelry, that will help me, will keep me from my soul being sucked up to some other place, some other dimension. So, uh, and once you leave your body, you get uh, astrally initiated, but we're talking about in meditation. Once you leave your body in meditation, you get astral initiation and you get jewelry. In my case, it would be soul retention jewelry since I have a soul. So, I probably would go off this week. <laughs> Ow. I just busted so oh laughed so hard I busted my gut. Yeah, I really think I'm gonna be gone by the end of this week. Since I'm seeing thirty three everywhere.
Oh, oh, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Oh, yeah. See, this needs to be on the television. And by the way, I do feel extremely good. A whole lot better than I ever did. So I don't need any um, antipsychotics. I think what happened was that they saw me apologize to the 13th son, so they must have figured he's really gone crazy now. And, uh, but yeah, don't take psychotropic drugs for any reason, because they really just let them not only track you, trace you, they can put entities on you. Uh, Adam Lanza was reported as, uh, they had to, like, basically strap him down to, like, a barber's chair to get a haircut. Because, the, you know, they put a negative entity, well, not a negative entity, but a, an entity inside of him. Like a, a demonic, a demonic, non-benevolent one. And then he shot up those, them peoples, so... Yeah, I, I see a lot of things happening all at once. It's like, I see a blue dragon. Then you got two winged beings following me around. Then you got the number 33 everywhere. Oh, you know, it's funny. I'll tell you this, this one, this one is for old Gilbert. Gilbert, you there? You remember when they told you to apply for survivor? Well, guess what? No, you're not coming with me. They sent your app. They made your. They made sure your application went astray. I don't know why they told you to apply for it, then not have it go through. So as soon as they told me, I was like, "That's totally you. That's totally you. That this that whole show is totally you." God, you could be. Yeah, you need. I told them to send you along with me because the chemistry would be like, you know, great. Or send someone, anyone, send Kemet Prince, send 13 Sign Astrology, send anyone, any one of those people would be great. It looks like I got to bring Planet Riz home the gold myself. All by myself. Yes, I hope I can win this rig TV show. Gee, I wonder who's going to win this show. I have no idea who's going to win. Of course, it's me, you dumbass. <sighs> oh, you know what? I saw this blonde yesterday at the gym. Perfect. Except for one thing, which is the hamstrings. It's always the fucking hamstrings. The first thing I look for on a girl is the fucking hamstrings. And you know you know why I think this is? It's because the blonde, the one I marry, the one that's like, you know, the dancer, the one that leads me to riches, the one I saw in mushrooms, I, I'm willing to bet that that one doesn't have any cheese on her hamstrings. Because that, that's the whole dynamic. Every girl I've ever seen has the hamstring cheese. I, I doubt this blonde one does because, you know, she's a dancer and dancers don't, like, dancers are usually very cut. So, I really don't think, you know, it's, it's kind of like how I know she's right for me is because she has no cheese on the hamstring. It's just one of those things where it's like, Katy Perry can't be human because all of her toes are straight. It's one of those things you never see. And you think you would see it in a gym because that's what the people are there to do, to not be piggly wigglies, but apparently that's too much to ask. So. Oh, and to this other Mason that's the negative, the, the asshole guy. He's telling me that my future... Basically, he is implying that I do indeed master myself before... I'm, like, supposed to be on TV. So, in other words, I will end up not needing them only in a... I, I, I will only need them in a financial way. So, basically, he told me that... He implied that, yes, I do leave my body without 
needing the aid of any sort of magic or melanin or that kind of crap. So he told me my future without the Masons, which is that I simply just, my mom dies, father dies, brother dies, I get all the money, then I get, they they said that I fuck up the inheritance and I have a run-in with the law and I don't even know why I would have a run-in with the law, it's not like I go anywhere or do anything. I don't drive drunk, I don't drink, I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not white trash, I'm not, like, you know, you know how, okay, and here's a good time to talk about vibrations. People vibrate toward something. Like, if you know, if you see someone's like, you can see, you can tell if you, you see a chick and you know that, like, you know, what she's vibrating to. And this is why I never, like, you know, bother flirting with young women because they're always like vibrating toward a guy that is going to like provide for them and I see uh, most chicks are like vibrating towards like a mesomorph or an endomorph and I see like a lot of especially young girls they're just like you can tell like their own their mindset is like they're only going to they only want to ask a guy out or want to be asked out by a guy that they know is in college or a guy that they know is established already. So that's why I don't bother with um, girls that have like soul contracts on a lower level. And uh, basically that's why I um, like to deal with the 40... I don't even like to do that, but... So people vibrate towards certain things, and if you you know recall, this is all just a giant. This is all just a giant math equation, and like everyone I run into is like vibrating toward like the lower class people. When I know that I'm the ruling class, so I have to wait for you know that to come back around to me. So I can't deal with any of these lower beings and. Uh, I didn't even want to anyway, because that's part of what I'm, my point is that I'm ascended in the sense that I see everyone who is not talking about the more, or the computer, or petitioning the IRS as a robot. I see, I can like, everything, the computer simulation is more palpable to me. For example, I was at Chick-fil-A the other day and these two kids are sitting there and they're like, Oh, dude, dude, dude. Yeah, we had such a good time back in the eighth grade. Dude, dude, righteous. Oh, yeah. That's the computer. That's the programmed, pre-programmed computer reactions. It's the pre-programmed computer responses. You're never going to walk into a restaurant and see two Chinese redheads talking about more sovereignty. And it doesn't even bother me anymore. See, I've, I've, that's what I'm saying. I'm mastering myself to the point where if I used to... Okay, remember how I saw... like, Remember how I just said that I saw like a, a perfect blonde in the gym the other day with the exception of her hamstrings? Before, if I would have saw that, I would have been like, oh man, I'm a loser. I can't provide for her. I have no business asking a girl out. Because I don't have any money to, like, you know, have children and babies and that kind of thing. Well, now that I'm ascended, I have gotten rid of the expectation and I have become loved to the point where it doesn't bother me anymore because all I know is that I my only goal is to leave my body in meditation. And I've got a plan to do that. Apparently I do do that because you got all these 33 numbers popping out at me, screaming, your life path is about to change. Because they know that I won't need them anymore if I can leave my body in meditation. Because it's like, it's kind of like uh, breaking in a gun. You 
the more you leave your body, the more you shoot a gun, the easier, you know, the smoother the action is. Whatever. You become more broken in. It gets easier every time you do it. And they send you some nice jewelry. Handmade by slave workers. <laughs> I never forget. Um, uh, I wish uh, I had that website where Fred had like the catalog of jewelry. Apparently Fred gets to decide, but the lower ones like Gilbert don't get to decide what they kind of jewelry they get. Oh, by the way, you noticed how, like, 13th Sign Astrology was, like, begging for a personality because he's got his altar set up so that he manifests a sense of humor, but he doesn't have one because he's a Mr. Spock. I almost feel bad for him. And I felt that heavy feeling just now where they're sucking you. And by the way, you know who you are. You really brought me down yesterday. I had this one asshole Mason guy. He keeps saying Rachel's a fraud. He said that Rachel is never in the presence of the Queen of England, which is true. Not in. She was in the presence of the Queen of England in a different host body. Like, Dita Von Teese is a different host body for the Queen of England. So he, this guy keeps saying, oh, she's a con artist, she's a con artist. Why don't we have a three-way phone call and you can sort all this out? This is the same person who wants me to take medication and all that whoop de doo All right, I think I'll end this here. I think I'll, I'm 13 sign astrology. I think I'm gonna shut this video down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this video down. When I was making the audition tape, which is like, I mine was only a minute 45 long. I already felt myself losing in life because when I was making the audition tape, I felt very synthetic. Like, see, when I make these videos, it's organic. But if I'm on TV, it's going to seem to me like very synthetic, and I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be. Am I supposed to be myself? Am I supposed to be someone else? Am I supposed to just like be? What am I supposed to be? Am I supposed to be myself on TV? And Thirteen Signs Astrology was saying that there's going to be like the news was going to have like people like me go on it and commit disclosure somewhat and I think it's the better job for me not necessarily survivor but they want me to win survivor so in the eyes of the profane I'm quite literally a survivor so when the deluge happens they look to me as a winner but hopefully by the time the deluge happens I'll have like four strands of DNA and I'll be able to light things on fire with my hands and eyes because, you know, that's the thing. Survival is a ruse because you, you die anyway. But the biggest reason why survival is a ruse is because, you know, you're taught via tele... You're indoctrinated via television to think that human beings started fires by doing that little... That kind of crap where you create friction with that little bow and arrow thing. That's all complete nonsense. Back in the day, and it's just like now... We used to follow the reptiles around, and they created fire for us with their, you know, super abilities. There was no, like, little bow and arrow with the whittle. There was none of that. There were just people, profane, following around the reptiles, begging for them to light fires to keep them warm. That's...
it's that's that's why I, I always say we're in their circle like Alex Jones is like the king of his castle with the InfoWars crew they all revolve around him same with Vince McMahon they all revolve around him that's the natural order of things on this dimension anyway I'll end this video at 2533